on to the men's heavyweight division. In the category men over 80 kilograms. In the blue, from Iran, Mardani Sayed. Sajad Mardani from Iran. More medals in his in, in the bag than he can count, and he's hoping to walk away with another gold medal here. Uh, the man's just frankly a monster. Uh, once he gets started, it is hard to stop him. I've fought him a couple of times. Not only is it a pleasure, but it's always an enjoyable match whenever it comes to this Iranian. Ever respectful and always bringing the heat in the ring. A true pleasure to watch. Yeah, as you see, he's got the quality. A gentleman, but a fighter nonetheless. Well, speaking of composure, as you mentioned yesterday, overcoming the significant illness, battling with cancer, but he's written a new chapter in his own history. Incredibly successful, super composed, and always worth watching. Yeah, uh, again, one of those classic style mismatches of Korea, amazing at slowing the match down. Iran amazing at pushing the at pushing the pace. Uh, two polar opposites here. A classic mis, uh, mismatch and a rematch from last year's Grand Slam final that came down to the wire. So I'm curious if we're going to have a repeat. Will it be repeat or will it be revenge? Andrei Starkov from the Ukraine will be in charge of proceedings for this one as we proceed towards, as you say, the business end of this heavyweight division. Sajid Mardani. Well, we mentioned that eagle kick, that chopping kick that he's got, the axe kick. Inkyodon, of course, known for his back kicks and his ability to use that footwork and timing. So perfectly set up. Let's see if he can land that eagle again. It paid off for him big last time in that semi-final. Let's see, uh, this, this Korean's particularly savvy. I'm curious if he's going to be able to avoid it. Well, there's the show of respect. Can he avoid the big chop kick? And of course, like rock, scissors, paper. The chop kick doesn't like the back kick and vice versa. So there's the head kick straight away from Sajid Mardani. Inkyodon crouching down, using those shoulder movements to try and bemuse and confuse. Good cover from the Korean. I like the pace that's being set right now. 2-0 uh, for the Iranian right now. Uh, yeah, probably a well-deserved deduction on this one. Uh, this is starting out very different than last year's Grand Slam final between the two. Last year's Grand Slam final, much slower pace, feeling each other out. I think both men are pretty confident going into this one. Indunkyo shaking off a, a painful clash. I think we can all relate to one of those. If you've ever been in the ring, they're the worst. And that one did look particularly tasty. It takes a lot to stop him. Good strength in the clinch there from the Korean. Shook that one off. Stock steady, the Korean in the center. And as you say, Stephen, a real fight already, not yep. wasting any time. A lot of lights on that punch too, just not quite enough to put the point on the board. But again, it's always that there's got to be one or two punches to wake up the judges, and now we're ready for it. Well, ready for business as we go into the business end of this final here. Halfway through the first round. In Kyodon. There's a little fly look at the time there. Sajid Mardani goes with a push kick to the body instead. And after that frenetic pace, the heavyweight's just slowing it down. Little twisting kick. Yeah, that's uh, uh, unfortunate for being over 80 kilograms. Pushing that uh, welterweight pace we saw there at the beginning, not quite as easy to do. But uh, I don't think we're going to have the bounce out at the end of the round like we had the last couple of heavyweight matches because it seems like both these men are taking no prisoners today. As you say, taking no prisoners, trying to take some shots on the board. Inkyodon shuffling round, looks for the back line turning kick. A little block this time. He goes down to capitalize and he'll make sure that Gamjon is given. Doesn't need any medical time out. And the Oscar goes to... Yeah, exactly. The tough part about these newer uniforms, too, one of the things that most of the athletes don't like are the pads that are made to go under them are not strong enough. And yes. so those clashes just, they hurt exponentially. And not only that, they're dangerous for athletes. Yep. And that will be reviewed because the protector system and the uniform's under evolution, but it's certainly not been perfect. It's been a perfect start, though, for Sajid Mardani. Finishes with a flourish there. 
And the big man from Iran goes back to his corner, having been points down, Stephen. Yep, they've uh, got to make a fool out of me and bounce out that last second after I said, no, 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 they're going to go for it. Trust me, I know these guys. Commentators I see how it curse. Is. Commentators yep. curse. That's yep. the way it works. If there's ever an argument for anyone that might take a rest, I think Inky don has got to be on that list. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's consistently in finals. It's just like Lee Day hoon At some point, you've got to get tired not even necessarily physically, but you got to get tired mentally from constantly fighting five elite level matches, basically every three or four weeks for a year. That's 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 a heavy tax to pay. But uh, both men pushing the pace quite a bit, and Sajad Mardani, same thing. He's in the medal rounds almost every single Grand Prix. So the fact of the matter is, we're seeing quite the impressive pace from two heavyweights that arguably. Frankly, I expected to take it a little bit easier in that first round, and uh, hopefully it just builds from there. No, you're absolutely right. Turning on that pace, and as you see, building the momentum from there. It's not been too busy for the referee, a couple of gam jobs, but they were both pretty clean and pretty clear. Well, you mentioned Ide Hoon in amongst that analysis. He will be coming up in the, the last final. That's against Great Britain's Bradley Sindon, the men's 68s which is, of course, preceded by the women's under-67s. What a battle. Matea Jelic and Ruth Bagby await in that one. But it's all about the heavyweight men here in round number two. Korea against Iran. Inkyodon points down in this one. And both men eyeballing each other in the centre. Yeah, if I'm Korea, he's tried that back like a couple of times. Uh, trying for that eagle, as we've called it. Looking for the turn, that classic Inkyodon's Dun classic turn. It's rewarded him so much in the past. Yep, that's the that's a punch that should have scored. Uh, probably should have scored that one at the end of the first round. Judges making it up to him on that one for sure. Yeah, as you see, in amongst the frenetic pace, the expansive kicking, it was the power punch that puts himself on the board. Both coaches looking on earnestly and eagerly. We are, of course, in the second of three rounds, although this could go to golden score the way it's shaping up at the moment. Big punch again there. Huge punch. I don't think there was quite enough extension on it. Not enough noise. Uh, right timing just needs to turn that shoulder over a little bit more, and he's going to get rewarded for it every time. Good back leg turning kick from Inkyodon. Response likewise from Sajid Mardani. Both men sharing the heat and sharing the intensity. The mouth hanging open from the Korean as he slips in for the punch and takes the solace of the clinch for a couple of seconds. And that match management really helping him so far. Sajid Mardani, super experienced. The 31-year-old bringing the quality. Can he make it to yet another Olympic Games? These ranking points would certainly help. Beautiful under that front leg. That's. Yeah. Trying for that notorious axe kick, barely avoided it, got his arm in the way. Ten seconds left, a lot of pressure going on. Judges not rewarding that punch, not quite enough extension on it. Well, speaking of extension, we're extending towards the dying embers of this second round. Time ticks down, and Inkyodon, this time he gives the little nod to say, okay, that's plenty. Yep, uh, Iran taking the lead on that first round, Korea coming right back, taking it back on the second round. And, it's all going to come down to that last round, like it usually does, obviously. But this is a extremely close match, and like so many of our matches that we've had both yesterday and today, close going into the third round, explode into a double, seemingly triple digits sometimes. So uh, I think we've got a recipe for another classic heavyweight power matchup. Well, bringing the power and bringing the speed has been both Sajid Mardani and Inkyodon catching their breath taking in the coaching instructions. The last round is moments away. Well, 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 and so it comes to this. The third and potentially crucial final round. Grand Prix final at stake. Two men that will no doubt take to the mat in Tokyo. next summer, but here in the winter in Moscow. Both men just taking their time, turning on the engine. There's the back leg turning kick, big chop kick over the shoulder. 
Good evasion again from the Korean. Yep, that's that's his specialty. Just when you think you're going to hit him right as you throw that kick, he's just slightly gone and firing right back at you. It's why he's so deadly. Good back leg turn the kick, front leg response from Maldani again, avoided by Inkyo Don. And he's a bit lucky to get away with that one. Yeah. I think he looked quite happy with that. I think, I think both of them tapped the helmet, actually. And so, I mean, at the end of the day, it still breaks out even, but uh, it's not usually that lucky. Good pressure by the Korean. I like that. Not letting Iran just bear down on him. Leaning in just a little bit. That way he can take it away, make Iran kick short, and then make him suffer for it. The big suffering is from the big reverse turning kick, Inkyo Don. He also takes a little clip in the face accidentally from Sajid Mardani, but nothing questionable or accidental about that reverse turning kick there, Stephen. Nope, that was beautiful. That turn to the body's been paying off for him. Yeah, he's going to need a medical timeout on that one. Yeah, that looks sore. Completely unintentional, obviously. Sure. Yeah, pure accident. These things happen in a combat sport. You especially don't want to see these kind of things happen in the final. Yeah, he took a little flick to the, the eyeball there just on the way through. But let's not take our eyes off of the big reverse turning kick here, Stephen. Look yeah. at this for technique. Oof, that was amazing. It was almost just calf, but he twisted it just enough to get that heel on there. And uh, just a little bit of friction on the bottom of the foot on that helmet. It's going to reward you every time. And that Korean's got to be pretty happy with that. Yeah, Ian Kyodon is actually in amongst it. Oh. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a little controversial chat with you here. Okay. That looked to be not that accidental. Um, not what you want to talk about with your own division, so I'm going to move away from that because let, we didn't really see a proper review of that there, but certainly, instinctively, maybe Sajid Madani just flicked out a foot at the end there, so we'll reserve judgment on that one. No question of the accident. Um, on no, kick, no question of the quality of the reverse turning kick. And thankfully, as we see the Italian coach happy to continue, Incodon likewise. Good call by the referee, I think. Sajad's got his work cut out for him. 11-5, the Korean leads with a minute 15 seconds left. This is about to be a huge one. Good push kick to the body, back leg turning kick shared by both men. Sajid Mardani turning up the intensity, as you see, halfway through this third round. Oh. Trying for that turn, we gotta go for big points at this point. Uh, judges not rewarding that punch, there was a lot of sound, maybe not enough turned over, but the Korean going straight back in for that punch, not letting Iran control the show. I think that's the key to winning here. Good big bite leg, as you say, the key to winning. But the key to opening that door has been Inkyo Don with yet another headshot. That's why he's so impressive. It's not just these power shots. He also does those finesse shots at just the most awkward time. And it's put... It's Iran trying for that axe kick that he's notorious for. Yeah, as you say, World Taekwondo President Dr. Chung Won Cho watching on here. Korean compatriot doing so well. As you say, that finesse to match the speed and power. As he runs down the clock, half a minute to go here. Yep, 29 seconds, leading 14 to 6. Korea just trying to get his foot in the way, let Iran run into it, let Iran do all the work. Just watch your head because he's looking for that axe kick. Another turn to the face. Beautiful timing, taking advantage of that mismatch in space and distance. Take that deduction for the five point spin any day of the week. Well, will it be the win from the big spin for the Korean in Kyodon? He's come over insurmountable odds in his life before. He's going to overcome Sajid Mardani, who's trying to push forward here. The clock is against him, as is the Korean master. He's been leaning in. He's been letting his shoulders loose. He's been throwing the fakes, the big reverse turning kicks, the big five-point shots on the board. And it will be a big, big win for Ian Kyodon. Yet again, he'll take that gam jump all week. And indeed, he will take a step up onto the top of the podium. It's going to be punctuated by a video review because the Islamic Republic of Iran not happy with the gamjon given for that. Not really that important to the context of the match. Let's have a little summary, Stephen, of your thoughts on the performance of Inkyo Dun. Well, Inkyo Dun has crushed it this round. Uh, I think Iran was so confident coming in that he was going to land one of those axe kicks. And when that gets shut down, he just struggles. Because at the end of the day, when you're walking away from most matches with six points from Two different t from two different kicks uh, interspersed throughout the match, then suddenly you don't get those six points. Uh, it makes a huge difference in the in the overall score. And when 
Inkyo Dunn's leading by 10, you know, six points that he suddenly didn't get. Now he's out of the race as opposed to, okay, you know, one big shot and suddenly he's still in it. So this is a interesting video review because I'm, like you said, it's not going to make a difference in the overall score. There's only three seconds left, but, you know, maybe something about the call the coach just really didn't like. Yeah, I think that's the only thing. The card pocketed, but the only thing that is guaranteed to be pocketed at the end of this one, Inkyo Dunn will shut things down. Happy to take yet another gam jump as he closes out on a superb performance here. Sajid Mardani has run his race, and the man that he's been chasing is going to go off into the distance with yet another success. Inkyo Don showing his quality on and off the mat, and sometimes it takes that little bit extra to get things done, and Inkyo Don just produced that ace card today, Stephen. Yep, uh, I mean, that, that whole match was decided by two exchanges. Uh, Iran pushing the pace the entire time. Definitely, uh, from an outsider perspective, not looking at the scoreboard, you'd go, oh man, he's probably, he's probably leading in points, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how loud the kicks are, how many you throw. It only matters, do you, did you get the sensors in that sock on the sensors on the chest guard? And Korea is a master at guarding those. Masterful performance. And the little peace sign after the victory from the main man, Ian Kyodon. Well, he's up for kick of the year for the exact same kick. Yeah, I believe it. But uh, if I were a betting man, I'd say uh, Lee Dae-hoon's oof. Yeah, that was a deserving deduction, I think, for that one. But anyway, let's concentrate on the main kicks from the main men, as you see. He's up for the kick of the year. One of the performances of the year as we move towards the last sections of this one. Well, celebrations in the heavyweight division.